Conservation biology is a very interdisciplinary field, and it requires not only producing knowledge about the threats that plants and animals face, but also ways to try to reduce those threats. This work was conducted in Tanzania on the Udzungla red colobus monkey. So the reasons why we chose this species is both because it's endangered and because it's an indicator species and exists in this very biodiverse region of the world. Genetics is like a really, really good tool to understand what is like the state of the populations, if they are endangered or not, and trying to get to a bigger picture of what is going on from a perspective of ecology and genetics. In terms of conservation, the takeaway point for this is that there are certain human activities that are driving genetic differences between populations that occupy these different forest blocks. The goal ultimately is for this information to help inform conservation policy. So that involves implementing local policies and local laws that are also friendly to the communities that share space with these, uh, these plants and animals. Mm -hmm.